everybody. My name is Roberta. I'm Mark. We are the new owners of North American Barrel and we're super excited. Who knew that you could age your own spirits at home? This is our line of genuine American oak barrels. Our largest size is a 20 liter, which is popular with our beer enthusiasts. The mid sizes are good for any cocktail or mix. This is our favorite. And it could, all these can be engraved. And our smallest barrel is a one liter barrel. Here you see it in brass. They're great for decorative purposes too. Here's some of our accessories for chilling your drinks without diluting them. The skull ice cubes are my favorite. Next we have some cocktail mixers and whiskey edibles. First our super spicy Bloody Mary mix. Very spicy. We have our very popular amazing bourbon barrel aged maple syrup. Grand pancakes. Some moonshine jellies and our moonshine hot sauce. Coming up soon we have some samples that we're tasting right now of a vanilla based maple syrup. Next we're going to show you how to cure a barrel. Hey friends, Mark and Roberta Johnson from North American Barrel here, and we're going to show you how to cure a barrel. The first thing to remind you is as soon as you get your barrel, take it out and start the curing process. This is a natural American oak product. We want to maintain as much moisture in the wood as we can. That will help to make the curing process quicker and more effective. First thing Roberta's going to do is fill the barrel with cool water a few times, rinsing it out to make sure any remaining wood chips inside are clear. Once we have that done, She's going to put the spigot in the spigot hole, fill the barrel with very warm water, and then we're going to let it sit. We're going to place it near the sink. She'll be happy if we don't have too much leaking in the kitchen. So we'll put it near the sink. We're going to wait for it to stop leaking. We want to make sure it hasn't really leaked in about four hours. Once that's done, you can empty any remaining liquid from the barrel. You have to place it upside down, so we're, pu we're putting it upside right here with the bung on top. When you're drying it, it's going to turn over. There's water in here, so we're not going to do that right now, but I don't see any little couple of leaks, but not bad. Once it stopped leaking and it's been air dried, you're ready to go. Make your first cocktail. Thank you very much. We'll see you soon.